hey what is up youtube it's your boy cb here and it is new year's time guys so the aoc just dropped a really cool valerie skin and also we got the purify no event going ahead so we're gonna be checking on those events right now so but first guys i just want to wish you guys a really happy new year ahead so i want to wish you and your family a really prosperous year ahead so be sure to hit that subscribe button guys if you haven't already we are a community right now so do it do whatever you guys want so be sure to smash that like button too guys so we're gonna go inside the lucky wheel right now guys so we're gonna check it out right now we got no spins we got a couple of these ticket and we only have 3000 lunari but i just want up to 20 spins maybe we can make it or maybe not so but still guys i still have this war makers main so i'm not gonna worry about that but still the 10 archaic tombs i'm gonna be easily take it and also guys it's got plus 23 stamina that's really insane guys and plus 20 percent damage mitigation but still i already have one of this flawless one but it won't hurt me anymore for having another one too so let's go and do a 10 set spin so we we need to, all right we need seven four one one three one six lenari so let's go and spin this guys new year's luck wow all right so we got one of this just guys and hopefully i will get a flawless one from that but still guys let's do 10 more let's see if i could spend 10 more let's see guys yes we can spend 10 more but still no luck let's see how much one two and three so that is five 600k cards man what is this guys man what is this but still we got 20 spins in and we got the war makers main we're gonna get some equipments for those extra war makers main that is always beautiful and we're gonna get the flawless tectonic great x with the arcade to 15 of them so let's go and open that chest and see hopefully no skin i'm i was expecting for no skins at all so i'm not worried at all guys so we have 140 lenaris left and also guys let's go and check the items right now and let's go open this hopefully at least a mythic one please nah all right so we got one of the same things guys that's gonna be really funny and also guys let's go to the dragon's bane purify no video so i have recorded it already so be sure to guys watch that too so real quick guys the event is ending in two minutes and i just want to say a couple of things matter coming to this event is even if it costs you a lot of energy try to get at least up to 15 chests even in the first difficulty no problem for that because you can't be wasting up all these challenge points and also these runestone chests plus this xp guys this thing is really wanted guys so next thing is finding a base finding an attack chest right here with a landscape like this guys so you want to funnel the troops that's why it's gonna take a couple of times and if you can't beat it at one single hero try to use a couple more heroes try to check what works best for you guys so we got a couple of stuff here we got two more sets so we're gonna use one set of swordsmen and one set of archers guys an extra archer so it's gonna do a lot more damage and also guys these troops have a lot of speed and you need to have an attacking dragon so if you can if you have a really powerful Ophidia with the Ring of Ragnar, that's gonna be needed. That's all you're gonna need with the help of the dragon. You can easily clear the four star difficulty with one single hero because my Ophidia is like love 45. That's not gonna work, guys. You need to have a really strong Ophidia with really strong mage research and the Ring of Ragnar need to be at five stars. So that's why your Ophidia can do a lot more damage. So right away from the start of the battle, I want to use my black bat blitz on these warlocks guys so doing one thing on that that's gonna reduce a lot of damage that's when i use my ophidias snake slither tongue and i'm gonna use a second bat blitz on the same position guys so we got all these troops funneled up right here so that's why the bat blitz is gonna do a lot of damage and also right when this ability pops up i'm gonna heal these troops it's gonna give them a morale boost just keep them alive enough just for Ophidia to cast her ability we got a lot more troops left but still come on the dragon is coming up and it's gonna look at the damage guys now 
Do you see the damage, guys? That's what you want, guys. That's why you need to have a really good landscape like this so you can funnel your troops. All right, the event just ended right now. So let us check where we are the king right now. So we have beaten this thing with three stars. And let's see the damage, guys. 24 million by base rig. That is insane. Well, our dragon did a hell of damage. Look at this Ophidia doing a ton of damage, guys. So that is really cool, guys. That is really cool. So we got players getting up number one rank. All right, so we're kind of like placed in 15th rank. So we got 43k here and 14k here. That is three times because it used three staminas. All right, so we got one chest for that. And let's go check out this event, guys. We have, where is it? All right. So we are placed, I guess we are placed 15th. All right, we are placed 16th in the north. So in my kingdom, based on my core power, like I'm like on the 80s, guys. So so that's a really good thing to for me to be in less than the top 20. So I got over 2000K core. So that is a really good thing. So I hope you guys new year is going really well and i hope you guys are playing this boss raid event pretty much i didn't even get to battle because these guys cleared off all these ba all these bosses and pretty much i'm just collecting the loot it is like free loot that is no problem guys that is no problem so i wish you guys and your family a really prosperous new year up ahead and be sure to hit that subscribe button guys and leave a like and we got a lot of troops in the hospital so i'm gonna heal them up right now and i'll see you guys in the next video until then peace out guys and have a nice awesome year